<laughs> okay, boys and girls. You see that I am just about finished coloring. This is the first thing you have to do, part of the first step. You have to finish all of the coloring first. First, first. All right, and I'm done trying to clean up all of the little white spaces. All right. Okay, now it is time for the painting. Now it is time for the painting. Now it is time for the painting. Let's get down to business. <laughs> so, okay, we have our watercolors. We need our water, we need our brush, and we need our watercolors, our bricks of color, all right? Now, watercolors don't work without water. So, I'm gonna have to get you to take your brush, dip it in the water first, dip it in the water first, get it wet, but don't have it dripping wet. Kinda ease a little bit of that water back into the water bucket, okay? All right, after that, you go ahead to the brick and you get the paint on the brush. See that? Got a little paint on the brush. Got a little paint on the brush. And sometimes I go back in it just a little bit to make sure it's not too wet. See that? Make sure it's not too wet. All right. Now we are going to do a watercolor wash over the whole thing. We're not trying to stay in or off of a particular spot. We're just gonna actually put a watercolor layer, just a layer of paint over the whole entire thing. And you're gonna notice something. You're gonna notice that when you get to coloring on top of the turtle, that it's not gonna take. It's like something's going on when you're on top of the turtle, the crayon, actually protects the paper from absorbing any of the paint, any of the watercolor. It's kind of cool when you think about it. Wherever you have crayon, it will not absorb the paint. So now, I've already watercolor washed the entire page. Now while it's wet, if you want to, you can go back, and I'm actually getting a little bit of the purple and I'm gonna kind of blend that in a little bit. I want you to see what I'm doing. Get a little bit of the purple, and then I'm gonna kind of make sure it's not dripping. I don't want it so wet that it's dripping. So I take a little bit of the purple back off like that. And then while the paper's still wet, I'm gonna go over and mix a little purple in with that. Any cool color you want it to mix with your blue, you can. If you want it to mix a little green in with your blue, then that's fine. If you wanna mix a little purple like I'm doing, then that's fine. I would say stay away from the warm colors. And we talked about cool and warm colors. Red, of course, would be a warm color. Orange, of course, would be a warm color. Um, yellow, of course, would be a warm color. I would say stay away from the warm colors. Just use the cool colors if you want it to blend if you want it to blend some together let me get a little bit of more blue because i want it to be in this area a little bit more in this area a little bit more but that's it guys that's all the painting we have to do very very easy job today okay i kind of like going over the crayon just a little bit because it's cool to see the effect it's cool to see what happens how the crayon resists the watercolor how it doesn't it doesn't take. And it's really cool because sometimes you'll find little holes. You'll find little holes and you'll see that the water kind of penetrates just a little bit in those little bitty holes that you find that you leave when you're coloring. So don't leave. That's why it's important to clean up your white spaces as much as you can. Um, but the watercolor seems to find a way. It seems to find every little hole that you leave on there. 
it just seems to do that i don't know why it just does <laughs> but it's kind of cool it looks like it makes your turtle look like it's actually underwater swimming and then with the cool effect of the lines it actually looks like it's bubbled over it's a completely round rounded turtle shell i kind of like that idea kind of like how that looks so that's pretty much it guys first you finish coloring and then you do a watercolor wash over the whole paper making sure that your paper doesn't get too too wet okay that's it that's what we're doing today guys and i would like for you to go and have fun Bye.